guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at maximum number of integers to choose from range one problem which is from lead code number 2554 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem you are given an integer array band and two integers n and max sum you are choosing some number of integers following the below rules the first point is the chosen integers have to be in the range of 1 to n each integer can be chosen at most once the chosen integer should not be in the array band the sum of the chosen integer should not exceed max sum it should always be less than equals max sum return the maximum number of integers you can choose following the mentioned rules okay now before looking at an example let's look at the constraint in this case the band array size as well as the n value is less than equals to 10 to the power of 4 now let's look at an example for better understanding in this case we are given band array with let's say 2 4 5 and our n value is 10 and the maximum is let's say 12 our goal is to find the maximum number of integers we can include from 1 to n right now if i enumerate all the values from 1 to given n value 10 then i have already written it down and i will mark all the band numbers which are 2 4 and 5 so i have already marked them now if i want to include maximum number of integers not present in the band in such a way that the sum must always be less than equals to the maximum sum then don't you think that i will be including the lowest number possible and not move from the right hand side isn't it i mean this is very intuitive and logical because if you want to increase the count then you will want to add as small number as possible right so i will be moving from left to right let's say that i will try to include one but can i actually include one i'll keep a counter value equals to zero if i want to include one first i have to check it in the band array to check if one has been banned or not so you will be iterating through the array to confirm if it is banned or not banned and then you will be incrementing the count also you have to maintain the sum value so whenever you include something you have to increment the sum when you go to the next item 2, again you have to iterate through the entire array and find out if it is banned and yes it is banned. So you will be jumping to the next item 3 and check if it is banned. It is not banned so it can be included so the count value will become count plus 1 and the sum value will become 4. Likewise you will be checking for 4 and 5 and they are already banned and you will be checking for 6 and 6 is not banned therefore you will be including it and you check out the sum. The sum value will be 6 plus 4 which is 10. Now you will not be able to include any more item because including them will actually exceed the value of 12. So what is the count that you got is 3 and this will always be optimal. This is a greedy approach, right? Now if you follow this approach, then we already saw that the band can go till 10 to the power of 4 size and n value can also go till 10 to the power 4. So I will assume that the band size is let's say n in the worst case. Therefore the time complexity of this approach will become order of n square. Because for each of the element, you have to check in the band array if, if it has been banned or not, right? Now, in this case, you had a lot of items, but you ran out of the sum. But I can take another example where n value was equals to 5 and the sum value was 12, where you could only include 1 and 3 and cannot include anything beyond 5 because, the, because we can go to maximum 1 to n, right? So in this case, the answer will be only 2. I can only include 1 and 3, right? So I hope the problem statement is clear. For the optimal approach, we will follow the same technique. But the only thing is uh, we will be storing all the band items in a set so that our lookup time is constant. Now I will be taking the n value to be 10 and let's say the maximum value to be 12. I'll be uh, keeping the current sum value which is 0 and a maximum counter which will tell me how many items we have successfully included. And I will be starting my iteration with a value 1 since I want to add as small numbers as possible greedily, right? So 1 will be checked in the set and it is not present. So the sum will get updated. Always after updating the sum you have to check it with the max sum. If it has exceeded max sum you will break it. That means this current item is not a valid addition to max count and any larger item will not be a valid addition definitely. So since the sum 1 is less than 12 so I will be incrementing the max count value because this is a valid addition. The next iteration is 2 but 2 is present in the set. Again, the next iteration is 3, it is not present in the set. If you add it to the sum, it becomes 4. 4 is less than 12, so this is a valid addition. So I will include 2 into my count, right? Again, I'll check with 4. 4 is present in the set, so it will not get added. 5. 5 is also present in the set. 6. 6 is not present in the set. If you add 6 to the sum, it becomes 10. 10 is less than equals to 12, so this is a valid addition. If you uh, see the next number 7, 7 is also not present in the set and 7 is 
uh, actually if you add it to the sum value it becomes 17 and 17 is uh, greater than 12 so this is not a valid addition and any higher number will never give you a sum value less than equals to 12 right so we will stop here we will break out and our final answer is 3 this says that we can only include a maximum of 3 items in such a way that i do not exceed the maximum value having started from 1 and going till n in such a way that all the band items are never included so i hope you were able to understand this so the time complexity of this is order of n because uh, i am assuming that the set lookup time will be order of 1 and the set will be consuming order of n space let's now look at the code in this problem we are given the band array the n value and maximum sum i will be pushing all the items of the band array into the uh, set called don't use and then i will be uh, taking the max count equals to zero and the current sum value equals to zero and then i will be iterating greedily from all the items starting from one to n and i will always be checking if the current item i is already banned or not banned if it is not banned then I will be adding it to the sum value and always check if the sum value has exceeded the maximum sum. If it has, then you will break and you will return the max count. If it has not, then you will increment the max count and you will continue the loop. Okay, so this is the entire code and I hope this is simple to understand. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes. To know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number.